Steve, we talked about the recruiting and looked at the 2017 class. Obviously, these guys are on uh, full throttle toward 2018 and looking for the best class possible for the first week of February. Michigan brought in a couple of stud offensive linemen during the uh, month of May just out of the state in uh, Jalen Mayfield out of Grand Rapids and also Ryan Hayes, uh, offensive tackle out of Traverse City West. William Barnes is a Florida kid who's a four-star who seems to be Leaning Florida, but that lean becoming rather weak once that uh, he's uh, attended one of these famed satellite camps when <laughs> Harbaugh and the crew made it to a Florida Atlantic. I think for, for Michigan fans, the two names that are the most interesting are Mayfield and Hayes. And the reason why is they're a bit of a departure from what we've seen the last few years. And I think this is where the new offensive line coach, Greg Fry, comes in. You know, I was one of those fans that sat around and wondered, and I love Les Miles, another Michigan guy. I love me Les Miles. I used to interview him. I used to cover the Big 12 when he was at Oklahoma State. Great guy. I, I used to get him to talk Michigan stories with me, and his, his eyes would light up. But I can't think of another team probably, Mark, in the history of college football that had 11 guys drafted and lost three games that wasn't coached by Les Miles, okay? Now, you, when, when LSU would do that, you'd always look at, they don't have a quarterback. That's it. What, what happened with Michigan? Well, there's a common denominator. If you look at the 11 guys that were drafted, there's one position mark where no one was drafted. And other than quarterback, it is arguably the most important position on a football team. Not a single Michigan offensive lineman was drafted. Okay? And that, that's despite the fact that I think we started three seniors. So I think that speaks volumes about where the talent level, that's where Brady Hoke's program, they couldn't protect their quarterbacks. Um, they didn't develop their offensive linemen. And so Jim went out this year and he hired Greg Fry, the Indiana offensive line coach, who did a masterful job there for Kevin Wilson and Tom Allen, brought him over. And that should be a familiar name to Michigan fans because he was actually Rich Rodriguez's offensive line coach at Michigan when Rich Rod was the coach. And if you look, there are three names, Dave Mulk, Patrick Omame, and uh, Taylor Luan. The latter two are still playing in the NFL. Uh, Dave Mulk won the Remington Award, I think, for center of the year. All three of those were guys that were undersized. They looked like power forwards more than offensive linemen when they came in, but they, they ended up fitting that athletic look of the offensive linemen that Greg Fry wanted in his system. And Mayfield and Hayes, I, uh, last I heard these two guys, both of them I think are under 270. So these are two guys that you, that you can see they're going to go to more of that kind of a model now, where, where, where we want to see more movement, more polling. You know, and that's an NFL influence too, Mark. We, we, don't, we don't have the hogs anymore. You know, Mark May and all these guys that are 350 pounds that just eat up, a, eat up the sun and you can't get around them. Nowadays, if you can't pull and you can't move, uh, you, if you don't have the athleticism to get there on those edge rushers, you can't play in the NFL. And I think that's where Michigan is now trying to make that adjustment on their offensive line because I think that they see that as the position that held them back from getting to the playoff last year. And that maybe is the position that right now separates them from those other elite programs you've talked about. And I think Hayes and Mayfield, in terms of the body type they represent, I think they, they symbolize that. 